I am really stoked about how the art came out for this release. Um, our friend Cameron Hina Joseph really crushed this one. As far as the development of that art, I think that Phil and Zach are better suited to discussing that because they really came in with a much clearer idea of what this should be and how it could connect to the recording itself. My buddy Cameron did the artwork um, and I know him through one of my best friends, Hayden. And he had done some other designs for us over the years and uh, he did this artwork originally for a series of shows that we had done two nights, different sets. Um, and so the idea for that was to showcase different sides of the band. Um, one side more doom, one side more heavy metal. So we wanted to showcase the di dichotomy of the sound and we wanted to reflect that in the artwork. We had called those shows doomed heavy metal because we were going to have a doom night and a heavy metal night and also because we thought that it sort of encompasses what we are as a band really well in you know a short uh, phrase and so it just seemed like an appropriate name for the release um, we all were huge fans of the poster art that Cameron and Hinjosa had done for us for those shows and we thought that it deserved to be part of this release as well it seemed to captured the two different sides of the album in a really interesting way where originally we had attended the art you know I'd approached him with this idea of having like more of a um, sort of like soft side and a hard more evil and dark side to the artwork and so he sort of personified that in the figure of this woman um, harvesting in you know the Colorado mountains and then death on the other side of the image and uh, I think in a lot of ways that really fits with the theme of the album where it's got this live side and the studio side and they're coming together. Um, so that ended up working really nicely. This piece of art we had used for the concert poster, a silk screen poster, um, we did for these two live shows we did in Denver and it was just hanging on the wall in the practice space. And I think Ben looked over and was just like, what the hell, why aren't we using that? Like that is, was, made for this actual, you know, exercise, and it's brilliant, and it would be such a great cover. Um, and uh, I think it was like maybe the next day one of us asked Cameron to kind of reformat it from poster to LP, and, you know, and it just worked out so well, and it was just right in front of our faces the whole time, and I think that's one of the cooler stories about, you know, putting the album together, actually, is the, the artwork just fell into our laps and uh, uh, it worked out great.